Berkshire, we want everybody to have the idea that there's a lot to be done with every business. You know, it, it, so, I mean, it is, uh, you know, we, they're only big, with the remarkable, remarkable company in Omaha Building Company, really remarkable. And it is question after everything they did, that was something that was done particularly well, you know, digging a tunnel under the East River or something when it said it couldn't be done. Yeah. He would say he would be, he was pleased but not satisfied. <laughs> and that is exactly the way we want the attitude to be at Berkshire forever. Uh, Omaha is a railroad town. If, if President Lincoln in 1862, I think it was, had decided to pick St. Joe or Plattsmouth or any place else to build the Transcontinental Railroad, Omaha would probably be a little town of 20,000 or something on the banks of the Missouri, but but making, with Lincoln's desire to make this the uh, eastern eastern connection uh, and make a Transcontinental Railroad, Omaha just took off. So it's been it's been it's been railroading at, at its base. The uh, you know, and anybody that was interested in financial matters had to think about railroads. Uh, plus, they had a certain glamour to them anyway. But the interesting thing is that UP, which is our main competitor, uh, themselves fell way behind. 20 or 25 years ago before right. Jim yeah. before Jim Young came in and in 2000 whenever it was 8 or so I started buying three railroad stocks and and uh, Union Pacific BNSF and and uh, Norfolk um, Western I believe I, I don't know why I wasn't buying CNO but in any event uh, Jim Young had done a marvelous job with being with Union Pacific, uh, so we, we owned all three stocks. But what we did in 2009 is we were able. Well, we already owned 22 percent of it, but overall it was 35 million dollars, a billion dollars, which was a significant part of our capital. We were able to put it to work in a in a business we liked, and. We, there's certain tax advantages that come in terms of making money in something that's more than 80% owned, we call it 100% owned in this case, versus making it through stocks. So it has a, a net benefit to us from making the same amount of money owning one of the other railroads by owning all of the railroads, and we got $35 billion out during a recessionary period. I think that was the worst quarter, the third quarter of 2009, maybe that the rails had had it for a long time. So it's, it's worked out. Actually, it's worked out very well, but it's because we, we were putting out capital in 2008 and 9, and if we put, put money in anything, we'd have made a lot of money.